This episode of Film Ride is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Ride, we move a car. Forcefully. See what I did? Ah. 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 Man. I need you to move your car. Busy. You're on YouTube. So, so busy. Come on, man, I gotta go. You move it. It's your car. It's your prerogative. What? What? Do or do not. There is no try. What? Never mind, I'll move it. Wait, you need the keys. Need anything from the store? No? Okay then. See you later. Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the show that takes mystery out of the effects of techniques. Going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and we have been friends with Sean Mullen of Rampant Design for a while now. We've told you all about the assets that they sell, but something that you might not know is Sean is a great VFX artist himself, and he has been doing it a long, long time. He's worked on stuff like NCIS, Nip Tuck, Six Feet Under, Any Given Sunday, Lake Placid, which does make me geek out a little bit, and a bunch more. So we decided to ask Sean to come on the show and teach some of his digital wizardry, and today we are doing exactly that so now I will shut up and let Sean show you how to force push a car. Hey, hey everybody I'm Sean Mullen from RampantDesignTools.com and today we're talking about the uh, force push effect for Film Riot where Josh devastates Ryan's SUV because he won't move it. Uh, this was all done in After Effects with Element 3D and some roto and some tracking. So this takes two plates to pull off this effect. The first plate that Film Riot crew gave me was Josh reacting and doing the force push effect without the SUV. And the second plate was Ryan's SUV without Josh, and then Josh walks in for frame of reference so we can find positional information and scale and all that. All right, so the first thing you have to do, because locked off cameras are boring, is you have to track the shot. So I tracked the camera using the After Effects 3D camera tracker. And as you can see, no matter what I did, it failed on me. The After Effects camera tracker is not very forgiving and it's pretty picky. So when it doesn't work out, you should always have a backup plan. No problem, I went to the Foundry and used the Foundry Camera Tracker, which uh, they have a free trial if you've never used it, and you can also rent it if you don't want to buy it. It's a fantastic tracker, so the first thing I do is I track the features, which throws out a bunch of 2D points. And when that's done, I go ahead and solve for the camera. And once it's solved for the camera, we create a scene. Really easy software to use, it's fantastic and super powerful. And now I've got a 3D scene, so I can put anything in the shot that I want to. And I always test that out by slapping in some text real quick to make sure that my camera track is solid. And now if I hit preview, Film Riot tracks with the shot, so I know I've got a legitimate 3D track. On to the next thing, it's time to roto Ryan's SUV. I've got to put the SUV inside the shot with Josh and get it off of the plate that it's currently on. So I grab the masking tool and uh, get busy rotoing Ryan's SUV off the shot. So as you can see, I've got Ryan's SUV now in the track shot and it looks great, except for that whole Josh being behind the SUV thing. So now it's time to roto Josh. So 
as you can see now we've got Josh cut out and he's over Ryan's SUV and now it's time to start animating. I'm gonna go ahead and create a null here and attach Ryan's SUV to the null so I can start doing my animation. I do all my animations with nulls that way I can isolate each animation path. So the very first animation path I'm gonna do is the initial blast where the car goes up and out of the frame. All right, the best way to help sell this force push effect is to damage the SUV. And because Ryan wouldn't let us damage his SUV for real, we had to cheat it in, in After Effects. So I went ahead and I grabbed this image from Shutterstock and uh, rotoed out the dent, tweaked the colors to help match on the SUV as best as possible, and duplicated it all over the car. Then I created two masks on the pre-comp, one hiding the dents and then the other revealing the dent. So as Josh throws his arms, you can see the dent reveal. In order to make this effect work, we eventually had to extrude in 3D and add a 3D car to the 2D car. So uh, we initially thought we would like to pull this off in Element 3D, and I talked to Ryan and uh, Andrew Kramer from Video Copilot hooked us up with this amazing model here. And as you can see, it's not the exact same SUV as Ryan's, but that's okay, because we're doing the transition up and out of frame. So really this model is just a, a 3D extension of the 2D car. So the transition from the 2D car to the 3D car happens up and out of frame because we all thought that the comedic timing worked better that way. But I've pulled the car down into the shot so you can see that essentially the 2D car is like a flat billboard stuck on top of the 3D car. So essentially as the 2D car rotates, it slowly disappears, leaving only the 3D car in the shot. All right, and the very final step to make this effect work is to add a little bit of dust on top. So when Josh throws his fists out against the car, a little bit of dust kicks up. And to do that, we used a free smoke helmet from 4kfree.com, dropped it in, dropped the opacity, and tinted it to more of an, uh, a dusty color, and boom, that's it. So that's it. That's our force push effect. A little bit of tracking, a little bit of roto, some element 3D, and some animation, and you're good to go. I'm Sean Mullen from Rampant Design. Thanks for watching. If you're a budding filmmaker, entrepreneur, innovator, domain.com is the place to go when the next idea hits you in the face. I know that you've heard us say it a bunch that the list of available domain extension is growing, but now you have the opportunity to name your site and build your brand in ways that were never before possible. Choose from a growing list of 400 plus domain name extensions like .com, .org, .design, and .club. And to show you some love, they're giving you 25% off their already affordable prices. When you get domain names, web hosting, and email, just use the coupon code FILMRIOT at domain.com's checkout. And when you think domain names, think domain.com. Logo. So that's it for today. If you would like to follow the very awesome Sean on Twitter, you can find him right here. And definitely check out Rampant Design if you're looking for some assets. They have some of the best stuff out there. And I will see you all next week when I keep asking everyone if they want a peanut.